The Kaduna State Peace Commission, in collaboration with all the groups, have organized a one-day workshop towards a violence-free 2019 general elections in view of making sure that the state does not have a repeat of a bitter experience of the past. The workshop was held Wednesday at the Arawa House Kaduna, where major stakeholders, including candidates contesting in the forthcoming general elections, were asked to contribute to the end of violence in the state. Governor Nasser Arafai, in his remarks, stated that the political parties that merged what is called APC today are all victims of rigged elections, stating that rigging leads to violence during elections. And peaceful elections, the political parties that, that merged into the APC were victims of rigged elections and the consequential violence that came with it. It is the rigging of elections that leads to violence. It was the massive rigging of the elections in 2011 that led to the widespread violence in that time. And Kaduna State alone lost over 800 lives. The elections of 2015 were a game changer in a way because most people believe that the elections were largely credible particularly in the northern parts of the state, uh, in the northern parts of Nigeria and the southwest. There were issues in the southeast and south south, but to a large extent, most people believed that the 2015 elections were a major improvement. And that was why it was inevitable that President Goodluck Jonathan had to concede. And here in Kaduna State, we are also happy that the governor then called me and conceded. The governor also said that if the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, conducts the 2019 general elections with the credibility of the Ocean general elections, there won't be violence in the country and emphasized that if he loses the election, he will be the first to concede defeat. Very credible. Election materials were on time. You know, there are very few instances of uh, disruption or violence or, 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 or snatching of ballot boxes. The election was credible. It is our view, it is my view as the candidate of the APC, that if INEC conducts the elections of 2019 with the same kind of credibility as the Oshun won elections, there will be no violence at all because it is rigging that leads to violence. And as the candidate of the APC, I'm saying here and now that I'm in a hurry to pack out of the government house <laughs> if the people do not vote for me. I will be the first to concede. And I want to tell you all those that want to be governor, eh? it is not an easy job. I want to run away, okay? It is not an easy job. It is just that when I look at some of those that want to be governor and what they have done to the state in the past, I have a duty to protect the state, the ordinary people of the state, from the evils of the past. So I want to say here and now that if the elections of the 2nd of March take place, and I lose fair and square. I will not wait for the results of the election. I will have the results before it is announced, and I will concede. In his own part, the Chairman Kaduna Peace Commission, Reverend Edowu Ferran, said power is transient and therefore urged all politicians, irrespective of their religious affiliations, to allow the will of God to prevail. Allah is the only one who gives power. La hawla wa la kumbata illa billahi. It is God who gives, and we have heard that from our guest speaker. Please, as Muslims and Christians, because we have the same in Psalm 62, verse 10, the same in La Hawla Wata is all there. Let us lead this thing to God and play our 